Mike, 652 right now, and we're asking folks this morning, was one of your resolutions for the new year to get more organized? How's that going for you? If the answer is not so good, it's okay. We're here for you with some help from a local expert this morning. We've gotten to know professional organizer Bertie Brennan from Columbus a little bit, and she stopped by our studios to talk about manageable ways to conquer your clutter. You know, January is not over yet. We still have, what, a week and a half or so, two weeks, even tackling small areas, baskets for gloves and hats for your front closet, and organizers for your bathroom or linen closet will make you feel like you've accomplished at least something in the short run. Labels are key when you have more than one person in the house or if you have somebody that has ADHD in the household, labels can, very, uh, can really help them. So Bertie says start small, set yourself up for some success. If you have 30 minutes to work, set that timer for 20. That way you have 10 minutes to deal with all those displaced items that you have. Bertie also says ask yourself, have I used this in the last 12 months? If you have not, give it away, recycle it, or throw it out. And finally, if it takes two minutes or less to do something, just do it now. Don't put it on a list for later. Clear it off your plate. This morning, we're asking our NBC4 fans on Facebook their quick tips for getting organized. Jennifer says, household notebook. I learned how to make one up online. Took me a while to put one together, but I got it done in enough time for the new year. And then Marsha says, start small, one room at a time. If you look at the big picture, it is too overwhelming and hard to get started. Share your tips that could help others save a lot of time by joining our conversation on our Facebook page this morning, NBC4's Facebook page. You know, we talked with Marshall and Monica a little bit about this. What are your organizing tips, Mike? Do you Throw it out. It? Throw it out. If, if it's hanging around, I like if, it, I got this from my dad. Uh, in terms of cleaning out your closets, we have the old winter coats mm -hmm. and Monica's puffy coats. Yeah, puffy if you coat. haven't <laughs> worn them in a year, give them away or get rid of them. It's a true space eater. So if mm -hmm. it's been around and there's an inch of dust on it, Hit the road. I'm what sorry. Eight track machines, Mike. And if they're working, keep them. <laughs> well, she's keeping her puffy coat. In fact, I suggest cleaning the heads after every 20 hours of play. Which you're doing, <laughs> right? Hey. It still works, of course. Uh -huh. Don't throw out your eight track. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> buy new ones every once in a while? No, I just record new ones. Yeah, okay, fair enough. What do you have in that record? classic car of yours? Um, I, I gave Monica a suggested organizing present mm -hmm. for Christmas. I actually took it home. I have all intentions of using it. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. It is currently in the area. It's an earring organizer. Okay. And so right now it's laying on top of where my earrings are earrings. scattered. Okay. So it's close to where <clears throat> it's just not. It's the thought that counts, you know? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's um, a great shredder. idea. You I did the shredder, shredder thing and, and a scanner. So the things that you need to save, do the scanner thing, shred it, and now it's an electronic version, which takes up this much space. So it's all done. Do you have a backup for that? That's what actually makes me it's uh, it's backed up online. Oh, good so idea. It's backed up on site. Peak. Does that cost a lot to do that? It doesn't have to. It depends on how you do it. Okay. Because you can either pay for a service or you can do it in some cases for free. So it's all on how you Great. set it up. So smart. Join our conversation on Facebook and share <laughs> your ideas on how to get organized.